Howdy guys, welcome to the Men's Chapter House. Um, we're going to hop right into this. I have uh, been pretty bad about uh, posting the videos, uh, mainly because I've not had a lot of time for uh, doing the voiceovers and there's a bunch of copyright stuff. So basically I have to edit each individual video that happens and uh, I don't have a lot of time to, to do that. So I am uh, starting in everyone's guard basically today. Uh, shout out to Bad Ace Academy for uh, allowing us to uh, attend their open mat and uh, work with some of their people. Um, I am going to be starting um, a lot of my roles in the future from basically just bad positions, arm bars, uh, rear nakeds, and like triangles, and then working out of those. Um, partly to get ready for comp, and then uh, partly just get better at being in bad positions. Um, that uh, looked probably like a, a shoulder lock. Uh, actually, pretty sure it was a choke. Uh, I do all of these uh, one take at a time because again, I don't uh, don't watch them prior and I don't have a lot of time for the editing. I really do this for journaling purposes for uh, my journey, and then hopefully my team um, and, uh, teammates can uh, watch these videos and you know, learn some things from them themselves. Um, obviously, in this video, you'll see that I take that uh, top position on their belly down, literally the worst position you can end up. So. Anything better than, I mean, anything that you can develop better than that is where you want to go. Um, it is hard when people start uh, forcing you to turn. As you see, I have his back uh, and he's trying to escape, and then you can force the turn the other direction. Uh, he could have ended up uh, belly down there again if he uh, persisted on trying to escape that way. And as you see, he did not. So. It's a, it's a hard position to fight from once you get belly down and someone's on the back. Uh, there I was telling about the uh, lion killer, or uh, I believe people call it a short choke, however you want to talk about it, uh, or however you want, to, you want to name it, but that's uh, your business. I'll show them here in a little bit about what, what the uh, lion killer is. And here I'm uh, basically just clearing um, the knee to prevent the triangle from being solidified. And here I do uh, a variation of a twister. <clears throat> basically any time that you can lock someone's hips down and basically um, cause back extension while uh, having control of the neck, it's really the same thing. <clears throat> um, here I'm talking about how you can basically um, cause hip extension, which causes a lot of control, but you can also tap people. Um, here I'm going to peel that knee, because again, that knee is really what uh, is the threat. Anything that can solidify the choke while it's on is the threat. So if my arm is across and if my uh, knee is being pressed, I thought I grabbed over on this. Uh, I tried to do a different type of extension here of his back. It did not work as well as I intended. However, it gets the tap, but that doesn't mean it was what I was trying to do. Um, I should have set it up a little different. Uh, if I had put my hips lower and it was able to extend his body more, um, I should have been in an arched position as well. And that would have been what I was actually going for. Unfortunately, it uh, did not play that way. Yep. So I'm going to stack, clear that, uh, that knee line in here. Instead of going for a um, toe hold slash ankle, I went straight, uh, straight ankle. Uh, he's going to be competing in uh, a few months and they allow straight ankles and uh, knee bars weirdly instead of the typical uh, straight ankles and toe holds which you know it's 
straight ankles is pretty easy. Take the angle. It's like doing an arm bar, just reverse. It's in legs and arms are the same thing. I know that might sound weird. They are the same thing. One's just stronger than the other, and it's inverted. Inverted elbow is uh, a knee. An Americana, uh, uh, an arm. You can Americana a leg if you're strong enough. You just most of the time you're not. If that makes sense, you don't have a position that's strong enough to do so. But it's no different than um, like a banana split. If I was behind your back and put my knee in your back and just pulled your arms together, that is essentially the same thing as banana split. Arms and shoulders are are the same thing as hips and legs. They're just typically inverted. And here you'll see I set up for the bow and arrow. Um, bow and arrow is one of those jokes that like really only work in gi. I don't do them a lot, so they're sloppy and ugly looking. Um, you can do them in no gi. But in Nogi, they look very different. Typically, I wrap, uh, gift wrap people to do them, and then uh, I go for a bow and arrow. And it's not even really a, it doesn't feel like a bow and arrow. And here, you'll see I'm setting up the electric chair. Um, if you can step inside someone's legs like this, people will tell you that you shouldn't do it because of um, giving up position. And, you know, they're right. However, you know, Sometimes you gotta hit that electric chair. It just gotta happen sometimes. <clears throat> uh, I actually really like stepping into uh, people's legs when they split. When they split their legs, uh, I feel like it gives me a really dominant position to like almost like crunch people, compress them so they're not like super mobile. Uh, here I tried something a little different. I just tried to turn all the way around basically in a triangle. Don't know if that's advisable, however, um, you know, I think I'm going to try it again uh, later, not in this video, but I'm going to try it again and see how it works. I'm just working on a bunch of different type of uh, triangle escapes, like punching through, peeling, sitting back, um, obviously turning all the way. Uh, there it was an interesting one that I thought of, it was like uh, doing a swim motion or a dive motion. Um, uh, I'm not gonna try that on anyone today because I think uh, that one has risk to, to me more than anyone. However, I would prefer to do it with someone who has uh, a little bit more experience to punish it as well, if that makes sense. Um, it's, it doesn't work if it doesn't work against everyone. And doing a dive motion against someone who's um, bigger, stronger, and more technical than you, uh, yeah, they'll punish you for it, so I want to see if it will work against someone like that before I implement it into my, my game, so, um, with that, uh, we're here, we're still talking about the short choke, I believe, and how the lion killer works, uh, I don't know if we actually get any more rolls in, um, but we're talking about, um, the lever choke, the one that uh, Khabib um, chokes out um, Conor McGregor in. But I'm pretty sure that's the end of this whole video, so you don't have to hear me talk anymore. So if you ended up making it to this part of the video, uh, now we're just going to talk about something silly. Like how fear is a self-fulfilling prophecy. I don't know, I'm pretty sure it was Seneca that says many are harmed by fear itself um, and many like dread fate um, and your fate will come because you dreaded it and you will meet it. So when you think and you fear, those things will uh, oftentimes fulfill themselves because that is all that you will see. Uh, while we are talking about uh, silly chokes in the background. Just think that uh, all the things that you are fearful of or not doing because you're scared, etc. They're all just nonsense. Let it go. Just do what you want to do. 
no one's really uh, going to tell you no, yes, any of that kind of stuff. It's all up to you. So don't live life in fear and enjoy it. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you on the next one. It's time for me to go uh, spend some time with my family. All right, bye guys.